Yo, what's up boys? Um, first of all, before I get into the video, I want to say thank you for the fucking support in the last fucking video. That shit kind of blew up, 1.5k I think is that right now? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, but oh shit man. More videos uh, soon to come like that. I'll probably uh, add more videos, not just gym, gym videos, so whatever other videos you want to see, drop down in the comments below. And um, this is a, obviously this video is a Q&A for people who are on my Instagram. I put a... Uh, Questions on my Instagram for a Q&A and I got a couple of interesting questions back um, So let, not, let me not waste any time and get straight into the video Because you know the other like YouTubers are just like jarred and, and then Make a long ass intro but uh, yeah um, We got a few good questions as I said um, I don't know if I'll make this video a gym video as well or just a Q&A But we'll see So the first question I got was your dream my dream, yeah, I'm reading off my phone by the way, all these questions. My dream is, hmm, my dream is to be a big influencer and an athlete, so influencer ex-athlete. So, like, obviously I'm growing on YouTube right now, I did a bit of TikTok, but I may upload more on TikTok to actually get bigger. But, uh, yeah, a fucking influencer ex-athlete, because I do gym, but I also like do jiu-jitsu, football, all that shit, so... A fucking definitely an influencer ex athlete, like, um, and see how that goes for, for sure. Um, next question One piece of advice for people trying to achieve their dream. So, this is a good question. I actually like getting this question. One piece of advice I'd give is just grind, grind, don't give up. Like, there's going to be failures, but you have to bounce back from them failures. You can't just, uh, you know, what I mean, you can't sit down and like cry about the failures. There's going to come like hard failures in your life when you're grinding for your dream. But like, go through the hate, go through all that trouble, because it's either going through the pain of like working out or chasing your dream, or the pain of not getting your dream. You get me? So just keep working hard, and I, I promise you, it will come if you work, work, work. Um, what inspired you to do gym? What inspired me to do gym was uh, like I was a little like I I can't I'm still skinny, but I was a little skinny kid, yeah. A little skinny kid. I was like. I was athlete already, so I already did football and like I did athlete athletics stuff my whole life. Um, what inspired me really to do gym was just to better myself because start of twenty twenty, uh, I bettered myself in like changing up my diet and shit, like just to get healthier in general, stop eating takeaways and shit. Then I was like, I actually want a good body. First of all, I only wanted to get ripped, so it took me a couple of months just to get ripped because I was already skinny, like but I had a bit of fat. So I just got ripped. Then I was like, no, I want better than this. So I started grinding to get bigger, and now here we are. So basically, that was just how I started gym. Just wanted to better myself and get bigger and ripped and all that. And my biggest inspiration. So this is my biggest inspiration for gym. Gym wise, would be like uh, Sush, Lex Little, like them. They're like Lex Little's legs are fucking massive. Sush is just a fucking sick hunt, man. Um, but otherwise, uh, XXX Tantacion inspired me to help people as well because I love helping people like through shit and all that. So, there are three of my biggest inspirations. I probably have a bit more, but um, this comes in and another question of favorite YouTuber. This comes in as an inspiration. My favorite YouTuber is definitely fucking Sush. <laughs> no cap, Sush, man. Um, I'll leave his link in the description because you know, I'm talking about him a lot. My favorite food. Huh. My favorite food for sure is fucking chicken. You can't go wrong with fucking chicken now, can we? Oh, chicken bangs, like chicken and rice. Top notch. Now, this is an interesting question because I don't really have this. Favorite cheat meal? Favorite cheat meal, favorite cheat meal. Huh. You see, I don't really have. I don't, you, I don't usually eat cheat meals, but if I were to eat a cheat meal, it would be like fucking ice cream and cake or something. But I haven't had that. Speaking of that, shit sounds lovely. Um, but yeah, that's probably, that's probably it, to probably have a cheat meal. Uh, my bench PR. Hmm. My bench PR, so, in my last video, you seen, I was hitting 90, then I was struggling, so then my friend Robert helped with one finger, he said he, he, said he barely helped, but that's, uh, that's not good, because, but my bench PR without that, like they say I should count 90 as my bench PR, and I don't really want it, my bench PR without that is like 80. Uh, yeah, 80 kg. And I weigh uh, between 66 and 70 kg. I'm light as fuck. Yeah, I know. Probably don't look that either. Um, this is a good question. Um, what do you want to achieve in this life? If 
what I want to achieve in this life is is to help myself for sure, help my soul evolve, help me evolve, help my family evolve, all people in the world evolve, you get me? I want to help like everyone. So not just like, uh, what's it called? Not just be a little fucking cocky fucker and just go around thinking I'm deadly or something like that. I like, I like fucking, I love helping people. So what I want to achieve is just to better everything. Like I want to achieve my fullest potential. I want to like, whoever brings the future, whoever hard, uh, hardships come, I want to be able to like achieve everything I can and I want. So that's that's what I want to achieve basically. Um, this guy said, uh, not a question, but you're an absolute legend, bro. That actually made me happy, guy. I can't lie. Thank you for that, bro. That was my friend Daniel in school. He said that. Thanks, Daniel, bro. My biggest pet peeve. Hmm. I don't know. I actually don't know what my biggest pet peeve is. Everyone always asks me that, but I actually don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, yeah, shit, I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what my pet peeve is, actually. So, um... Uh, favorite athlete. Favorite athlete has to be Cristiano Ronaldo. <sighs> Can't go beating him now. Fucking hell. Ronaldo is a fucking god of all athletes. And maybe Conor McGregor or Khabib. Like maybe between that, yeah, between them three. Um, my favorite quote. I have this in my front of my screen actually. Hold on. All right, so it's kind of it's there. Where are we? You can't really see that, can you? Uh, great, great things never come from comfort zones. So let me elaborate on that. Um, so obviously, you can't do anything being in your comfort zone. Like everything you do to achieve better yourself has to be out of your comfort zone. Like, it's not, can never be in your comfort zone. You can't just like a lot of people love the lying in bed. You can't lie in bed and expect to achieve your dreams. Let's say you want to. Let's say uh, you're lazy and you lie in bed, but you want to be uh, a boxer, right? That's not gonna work because you have to actually work and work for everything. So um, yeah, great things never come from comfort zones. That's my favorite quote. Um, my favorite rapper. My favorite rapper. Hmm. My favorite rapper for sure, probably. Right now, uh, Lil Baby or Polo G, of all time, has to be Eminem or X. So yeah, right now, uh, Lil Baby or Polo, for sure. Um, do I believe in aliens? For sure, man. There's definitely fucking hench ass aliens walking around now. Nah, jokes, but there's definitely aliens for sure. Like, there's no way there's no aliens. Like, governments, the government cannot just fucking say there's no aliens. We can't be the only one, only ones in this universe or whatever you want to call it. That's another video for another day. If you want me to talk about, like, that shit, just comment down below if you want me to talk about that shit because <laughs> that shit, I could make a full video on that shit. Would you open your own gym one day? No, that is actually, you never mentioned that, but once like I get influence, like, you know, uh, I want to be kind of an entrepreneur as well, just to have my own money, invest in crypto, whatever, that's another video too. But I definitely open my gym one day because, not like Bradley Martin though, like I want to be in it every, like, I want to do my own stuff as well. Actually, he does that as well on the second channel. But yeah, I definitely open my own gym one day because that'd be fucking sick. Imagine having your own gym. Favorite dog breed? My favorite dog breed, probably American Pitbull. I don't have one. I have another dog that I fucking love to death. But uh, probably American Pitbull. Them, them shit, them motherfuckers, they're kind of hench as well, you know. How many rest days? We usually take one rest day from uh, from the weights. So we like weights six times a week. But I don't really have, a, like, I'm, I know it's bad not to have a rest day. But I do jujitsu and all that. Like, so there's no really rest day there from jujitsu and all. So, we'll say one, we'll say one, okay? Uh, any tips on arms and chest? Um, so obviously, you have to do a lot of reps with like, kind of not heavy, heavy, but you have to do like, at least 8 to 15 reps to grow your arms. Like, 15 might be pushing it, but grow your arms and then, like after a couple of weeks, you progressively overload, and you have to eat as well. So if your arms just like that's both like chip uh, bench as well, and I do a lot of volume or heavy, they both kind of work. So a lot of volume is like a lot of fucking reps, and heavy is obviously five by five. So let's say five reps or five sets of whatever you can do. Same with anything else. So progressively overload and fucking eat. Just lift heavy and eat or volume, as I said. Um, the next question is. 
okay, this is for nah. What? Why? Why? Why do you lot ask these questions? Would you rather sit on a dick and eat cake or sit on a cake and eat dick, bro? Oh, okay, okay, this is gonna be controversial. For for me, I'd rather uh, sit on a cake and eat fuck. Nah, fuck. Ah, there's no fucking. There's no good outcome for this. There's no good outcome. Bro. Steph, man. Ah, nah, bro. This ain't it. This question ain't it, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna go for it. I'd rather eat, sit on a cake. Oh, wait, no. Sit on a dick and eat cake because it's not technically. <laughs> it's not technically, you know what I'm saying? We're just sitting on it. So probably no. Fuck. Okay, no. Bond this question, man. Fuck you. Um, where do I see myself in five years? That's a fucking good question. I see myself excelling my dreams, like working hard for my dreams. Still working hard. I see myself being a like big influencer, ex athlete. Like right now, that I'm doing still the same thing, but bigger and better than I ever was before. But yeah, five years influencer, ex athlete, uh, making bank, helping everyone. That's where I see myself. Okay, this last question. Um, get up, go outside and do a backflip. Okay. Alright, so we're outside, but do a backflip just because fucking that fool said it. Wasn't even a fucking question. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I didn't stretch or anything all day. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. So, oh, can I zoom? Shit. Yeah, so what do a backflip then? Oh, I didn't stretch or anything. Oh, this is gonna not end well. This is not gonna end well. Fuck. Hey. Hey. <sighs> was not gonna end well. I have to redeem myself for that. Fuck that. Ah. Oh, nope. <clears throat> One second. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to do a backflip. I forgot to record an outro for uh, the Q&A. All I want to say is fucking thank you for the support once again for the last video. Let's reach 1k subs if you can. And hit the like and sub button. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for the next video. This fucking it's gonna be a banger. The next video is gonna be a banger. Um, but yeah, all that said, Chili's out. Stay tuned for the next.